Washington State resident Eric Smith was in bed last Wednesday when he got a notification on his phone that someone was in his driveway and his car door was open. It was his immediate instinct to venture outside to see what was going on, and what happened next was terrifying. Lucky to be alive, Eric Smith, the man you just saw, joins the angle exclusively. Now, Eric, we were first alerted to your story by Jason Rance. He's a friend of the show. And like so many of us, he was shocked at how brazen the criminals have become. You know, what were you thinking? A lot of people would say, take the car, let me, let me live. But you decided to confront these thugs. Yeah. Um... You know, I have a ring, obviously, and a lot of my neighbors are getting rings now. And uh, I received that notification. And just like every day, I receive notifications of everybody else telling their story or posting their story about incidents, crimes going on in the area and the neighborhood. You know, and I'm always looking at the map to see if it's close to me. And, you know, it's not. But it just happened to be that night. That was a situation I ran into. So, so start, you walked outside and you and they were were they already they were in the car and that's you running to tackle them. Are you armed in that? It looks like you are. No, nope, not armed. Oh, you're uh, not. Okay. <laughs> no, I like I said, I was in bed. I uh, received that notification within a couple seconds. I was downstairs outside. Uh, I slammed my front door as I was going out, and that, noti that like alerted the individual in my vehicle who jumped out, and I went chasing after him. How lucky are you not to be run over by that car? I mean, I'm looking oh. at that video, and I'm terrified for you. But how, but you ended up on the hood of the vehicle. Again, it's a vehicle. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend people doing what you did because you're putting yourself in danger for a car. Was this out of frustration? You were just sick and, you know, had enough and you were sick and tired of this? Yeah, it's just, I, I think I had the mentality, the mindset that, you know, I didn't want this to happen to me. I keep seeing mm -hmm. it. It's, it's a growing issue. It's grown popularity of, of criminal activity in the, in the area. And, you know, it's like, as soon as I saw it, as soon as I saw my truck door open, I was like, no, it's not going to happen to me. And uh, we've seen a lot of young people involved in carjackings uh, here in the Washington, D.C. area, Eric. But what can you tell us about the suspects in your case? In, in my case, as soon as I got hands on the individual, um, you know, I, I could tell by his voice. I could tell by how much he weighed and his size and composure. He's, he was a young teen. You know, I didn't get a good look at his face, but um, I could tell he was young. And... Um, you know, from that moment, I was just like, okay, I'm not, I'm just going to hang on to this guy and I'm going to call the police. And, but things changed very quickly when uh, the passenger or the driver of the vehicle decided to back up and, and try to come between us. Um, that's, that's what exactly happened. And I was very, very, very lucky and fortunate that it ended the way it did. And did they just run away? I mean, what, yeah. what happened at that point? So uh, I was on the hood, I ran into my vehicle. I just happened with the momentum, hop off the vehicle and land on my feet, turned around. And the first thing I, just, I thought in my mind was, all right, it's a clear shot of the license plate, clear shot of their faces getting in the vehicle. Uh, so I pulled out my phone, started taking, recording uh, photos in an attempt to gain as much information before they took off. Uh, I didn't, well, if, they were, if they were willing to hit me, uh, who knows what they were going to do next. I didn't know if they were wow. going to try to hit me again, so I tried to create that space, and that's where I grabbed yeah. my phone. Well, Eric, you, did, you, you gave them something to think about, that's for sure. We're glad you're okay. Eric, thank you very much for sharing your story. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.